Welcome everyone on this new Java and Spring tutorial. So today we'll create Spring Boot application using Redis as caching solution. So as a requirement and a starting point for this project, you have to uh, watch this old tutorial to be able to create a simple Spring Boot application using MongoDB. And in the end of this tutorial, you will be create you uh, you'll be able to create and list some student objects on MongoDB. So I invite you to watch this tutorial to download the uh, other tools like Postman to test your REST request and STS to be able to create a Spring Boot application. So here I already have uh, the Spring Boot project to create and list student. So here I have the main uh, the main class of my project just here, the student controller. And here I have only two endpoints. The first one is all to list all students, and the second one to be able to create students in MongoDB. Here I have my object student with the name, age, and grade, and student rep repository, which extends from Mongo repository. And by using student repository, we'll be able to do many uh, operations on MongoDB collection. So first of all, I will just r uh, run my project to be sh sure that my two endpoints are, are, are uh, still working. Let's share. And I have my postman just here to be able to test my different endpoint. So the first request is to list all students on my localhost MongoDB. So here I have three students and here I have my endpoint to be able to create some students. So here uh, we'll try to create a new student like Maxence age 34 grade 12 for example. So here I just created a new student Maxence and here I will be able to list all students. So now we have four students. And here we are simply calling our repository and some method just here. So I really invite you to watch the old tutorial to be able to, uh, to build this project. So once it's done, uh, let's uh, attack the Redis subject. So first I will stop my uh, my project and first of all we have to add the dependency on pom xml so we'll open my pom xml here we are handling all the dependencies of our project so my dependencies is like mongodb uh, one so here the artifact ID will be Spring Boot Starter Data and here we'll put Redis to be able to use Redis caching solution just here. So this is the first step. The second step will go to the main class just here and here we'll enable caching. So enable caching like that. And we have to add some uh, configuration in application properties. So here I will have three configuration. The first one I'm telling to Spring to use Redis uh, cache solution and the host and port. This is the host uh, default port and uh, the default host. So now we are good. We have. Uh, the configuration of Redis, we have already enabled caching and we have our dependency just added. So now let's run, uh, let's start Redis on localhost. So first of all, you have to go to this link just here, GitHub Microsoft Archive Redis release and you have to download Redis 64 uh, and the zip file just here. 
So once it's done, just here, I already downloaded the zip file. You have to just start Redis server. In here, we have our Redis just started on localhost, just here on the port 6379. So we are, now we are good. We have our Redis launched on localhost. So now let's use it on our application. So to be able to use Redis, we can use Redis on different endpoint. So here, for example, I am listing all the students. So here I, I have just put uh, just a text that I am searching all the students on MongoDB database. And if I want that the result of student to be cacheable, I will just add annotation cacheable. In the annotation, I can give uh, some value, for example, student or cached student, for example. And that's all. So now, normally, we are using cache to list our students. So in the first call, we'll, uh, in the first call of this endpoint, we are looking for the student in our MongoDB with the repository and all the uh, the other calls just after uh, will get all the students in the Redis cache. So let's start our project. So my project just starts just here. So I will run the same request on Postman to be able to list all students. So now we are four students. And if you are looking for the student in MongoDB, uh, I will see searching in database on my console just here. So let's go. So I have an error. Redis is not able to serialize our student object and it's normal, it's very normal. This chair is not able to use default serializer because our object student does not implement serializer, uh, uh, the interface implements serializer. Serializable. So now we'll be good. I will restart my project just here and I will do the same test. So waiting for my project to start. So we are good. So I will run the same request to list students just here. So, so here I have my four students and what we are see what we are seeing in my console that we are searching for students in database. We are not using cache yet because that's the first call. So let's do a second call and now if you are using Redis cache where uh, we won't see searching database in our console. So let's do the test. And now we have our fourth student, but the code is not arriving here. So the cacheable is doing the work of get retrieving all the students from Redis uh, caching solution. So now we are able to be uh, to, to cache all our students. And uh, for example, we can use it for another usage for one student, for example. So here we can use get student. Here we can pass a parameter. Uh, so request param. So here student id for example and here my repository i will uh, find so find by id 
and I will pass my ID just here. Here I have to get string. So searching student in database. And here we are returning just one object student. So we can do this like this. And here I will add another endpoint. For example, uh, find uh, one uh, student. So here I have optional. So for the test, I am just using get on my option. So that's good. So now I have to go to Postman to create a new request. So here, for example, here or create one student and here find one student. So the endpoint will be find new student. So here we don't have anybody. It's not like the student creation. We only have a param, which will be student ID. So here student ID. And if you are, I will check some examples just here. So for example, uh, this ID. So I have to, to get Kate as a result. So here student ID. Okay. So the first test is just to see if I am retrieving my student. So here I have my kid student and now we'll try to use cache and now normally uh, we are seeing searching student in database. So now I am using cacheable, the annotation cacheable to use Redis cache. But this time I will use uh, student just here so to be able to differentiate different student we can use the ID the K just here and now we are using student ID so I will restart my project So the first car normally we will see searching student in database and the second call he will retrieve the student from the Redis cache. So first call searching student in database which is normal and now so um, we have our student put in Redis cache with this key to differentiate uh, from other students and the second call so here we have the same student but here we are uh, not uh, getting the student from mongo database but from redis the last test and that's all so in this tutorial uh, we have used the redis configuration on an existing spring boot application so you can uh, watch the first tutorial to be able to create this simple uh, application then implement redis and as a summary so we have added the dependency just here in pom xml then the annotation enable caching some properties to be able to use uh, redis on localhost and here we are just using cacheable. So here we are putting all the student in this cache value, cached student. And if you want to differentiate object in the Redis cache, we can use the K just here. So thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.